I'm glad you clicked on this video because I don't want that to happen to you. So let's talk about how we can fix that. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cameron here. Welcome to another video. Today we're actually rocking the face cam just because, well, it's kind of boring just to look at my desktop. So um, I thought my face would be slightly more pleasant than just looking at my desktop screen. Well, today guys, we got a brand new video. We're going to be talking about how to fix the 100% CPU usage issue that a lot of people get when they play Fortnite. Just so you guys know what this looks like, I actually pulled up a picture of it. It looks like this. You'll notice here under your task manager at the top, it'll say 100% CPU and your Fortnite basically is using all of it. So this can happen sometimes if there's some errors going on with your Fortnite game. We're going to talk about how to fix those the quickest and simplest way possible. There will be multiple steps with multiple difficulty in terms of um, lengthier processes to complete them. So I'll get all the easy ones out first in case that solves your Fortnite issues right away. Before I dive into all that though guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm providing tons of content, I'm trying to help you guys, um, you know, make your game better, make your game more playable, and I have tons of videos already on how to reduce ping, how to uh, boost your FPS in Fortnite, how to fix your Fortnite game, just tons of awesome stuff and the helpful things like that. So let's jump right into the video guys. First thing you want to go ahead and check out is first identifying that this is indeed what's going on. So while you're loading Fortnite right here, um, let's say you got Fortnite already in, up and everything, so you have it open. First thing you want to do is check that this is the issue going on. So how you do that is you go to Task Manager. So if you pull this thing up here and you see that Fortnite is one of the processes and it's running anything high like 70, 80, 90% of your CPU, you know you got this bug and this is the error that you need to fix. Um, if you're not having that issue, something else is going on. Do stay tuned though in this video because it still might help alleviate some issues you have, whether that's like FPS stuttering, just frames stuttering in general, um, or if you just have really low um, frames per second, this can help fix those issues too, so stay tuned for the video. So first off, I want to mention, if you see anything in your task manager, if you have this issue that you don't otherwise need, that you feel is taking up a lot of CPU, like let's say I'm not running OBS, which is my streaming software, you can just go ahead and kill the task here and just end the task down here at the bottom. And you can do that for anything, like I'm going to go ahead and do that for my smart game booster, even though I kind of use it, but as you can see, it just goes away and it's just a really nice way to get rid of unnecessary tasks. Um, all these other ones that look like system, Windows, desktop, all those things are actually integrated with your Windows 10. So don't worry about any of those. Only worry about the high CPU usage ones or the high memory usage ones. All right, so let's say you've done that. So let's move into step number two. The next step is opening your Epic Games Launcher. This will be the second easiest step in fixing your issues with Fortnite. So you're gonna open this thing up, right? You're gonna go under library down here in the uh, middle of the screen. You're gonna go over your Fortnite here, click these three little dots. It gives you additional options. Once you do that, you're gonna hit options. And if you don't play save the world and you don't need the high resolution textures, uncheck those. That actually can help a lot with your CPU usage in Fortnite. Just go ahead and click apply. The second thing you want to do in these three little um, dots is come over here to verify. So not a lot of people know about this, but what it does when you verify your Fortnite game is it'll actually scan all your game files in Fortnite and just make sure there's no errors with them. And if there are errors, it'll actually repair them for you. So this can be a really easy way for you to just be able to fix Fortnite without even having to go into any files or anything. This can actually just fix it for you, which is pretty awesome. So for this next step, guys, you're gonna wanna have Fortnite loaded up because it has to do with your settings. So we're gonna go into settings over here. And what I want you guys to go ahead and make sure of, at this point, if you're having the 100% CPU usage error, make sure you got performance mode on. The reason being is this uses the least amount of resources possible, and it can actually solve this issue right away for you. So make sure you're using performance mode down here at the bottom if you have not used it. It is a lifesaver when it comes to using your hardware with the least amount of um, of threshold possible. It'll actually make your game a lot more playable, especially if you're getting a lot of stutters or high CPU usage or any errors in general. Just because it really does limit down things, it makes it a lot more playable. The other settings I would recommend, guys, if you're still having the issue, make sure you have textures as low 
meshes as low you can try high but low is preferable if you're having this issue and v-sync you want to have that off view distance you can have it as far it really doesn't matter in terms of cpu usage it, it, either way it's going to be pretty low depending on your distance here and then other than that have your 3d resolution on 100 percent give that a whirl and see if that actually fixes your issue oh and before we leave fortnite uh, be sure to use the code only cameron in the fortnite item shop thank you the next thing that I would recommend guys if you're still having this issue, a lot of people use a web browser while they're playing Fortnite, especially if you have dual monitors and you just happen to always have a browser up, whether that's for like uh, watching YouTube videos or anything that you're doing. Um, make sure you're using a gaming browser. A lot of people don't realize, but Microsoft, uh, Edge, and also Google Chrome, which are the most popular web browsers, actually use up a lot of resources and can also cause your CPU usage to skyrocket. So I recommend Opera GX. I'm in no way affiliated with them. In fact, you could use any gaming browser. That would work just fine because they use far less resources, are way less intensive on your hardware and your computer, and uh, that could actually make a huge difference in terms of your CPU usage. So I'd recommend downloading like Opera GX or any gaming browser because that can actually really save you uh, resources on your computer. The next step guys is a little bit more dicey because we're going to have to go into your settings a little bit. Now don't be freaked out, I know what I'm doing because I've had this issue myself and I've been able to resolve it using a couple settings within your Windows 10. If you're on AMD, I am sorry guys, I don't have AMD so I can't do anything but point you in a good direction of an article linked down in the description below for optimizing a computer that uses AMD products. So let's hop into some NVIDIA control panel settings. They should be able to assist you. So first what you're going to want to do is right click and then just open up your NVIDIA control panel. If you don't see it here when you right click, it's because you've never freaking downloaded it. So just go to NVIDIA.com and download the control panel. So guys, once you get that open here, you're going to get this top option. It says adjust image settings. Now by default, you guys are either on use the advanced image settings or let the 3D application decide. You need to be on use my preference emphasizing and you need to put the slider all the way uh, left on performance. What this is going to do is give you the best rendering performance possible for your, your game and this can lower your CPU usage as well. So just hit that and then click apply down here in the bottom right and you're pretty much good to go with that setting, nice and easy. The next setting we're going to change is under manage 3D settings here. So you're going to click that at the top. You'll get all these options here. Basically all you want to go ahead and focus on is scrolling down about midway. You're going to see low latency mode. Make sure that one is turned on. It's off by default. This will actually help with your smoothness in game. Frame rate, you're going to want to make sure that this is capped at whatever you want it to be or off. If it's lower than what you're what you're needing, that can cause some issues when you're playing Fortnite. The next thing you want to do is come over here to power management mode. By default, this one is on optimal power. We need to select prefer maximum performance. This will give you the most performance possible in your system. And like I mentioned, it will be a lot better in game for you. The next option scrolling down is texture filtering quality. By default, this one is on quality. You need to switch that to high performance. This will again, it'll give you better performance, which therefore uses less resources and causes less, um, it, it allows your CPU not to be as throttled. So yeah, just make sure all those settings are on. Once you have all that good to go, you're okay for now. Go ahead and close out of there and you're basically chilling. The next setting I want you guys to check to make sure is on is a lot of people don't know that Windows 10 has a built-in gaming mode. That's right. So you're going to want to make sure you type in game mode in your search bar down here in the bottom left. You'll see this option that says game mode settings. So once you have that up, by default, this thing is off, guys. You need to switch that to on because that actually can improve your CPU and graphics improvements and performance and make it a lot better for you guys. 
So guys, those are the main ones for today. This should have improved your guys' Fortnite um, performance. And if you guys have had any 100% CPU usage issues, let me know in the comments down below. I will try to help you out the best I can in each comment. But I hope it helps everybody out. Uh, I know a lot of these tips helped me out when I had a slower, older machine. But yeah, guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out for now.